Here we are, part 9 of my video walkthrough for Mega Man X2. We're going into the last of the eight bosses. It's Crystal Snail. Ah, oh, this guy's level's a trip. I got our normal bats to take out here. Now, getting the heart is super retarded in this level. Gotta get the mech, come down here, pull out our strike chain, and then like dash jump, and right as he falls out, jump out and strike chain the wall. But that's how you do it. At least that's the only way I ever figured out how to do it. <laughs> But at least we can use the little ledge to get back. And our nice little robot right arm shows back up, so... Alright, we get to smash stuff. Although he gets stuck right there. Yeah, watch out for the big sliding green eyes. They will kill you. That's uh, what they're generally there for. But we can smash the ice and stuff out of our way with our big fancy mech. Alright, tear it out! And that's about all he's good for anyway. Alright, mini boss time. Yeah, I actually thought about using the spin wheel. Ooh! Seems to be hurting him pretty good. Well, it's a little hard to actually get one set on top of him. This guy has a lot of hit points. It takes a long time to beat him down. But that did it pretty quick, so awesome. Alright, about halfway down, we can jump up here and grab some extra energy if you're feeling spunky. And dropping down this big hole leads us to a semi secret little passage here containing the final capsule. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. Ooh! It uses some energy. But with it, you will be able to see objects that you could not see before. Good luck, Mega Man. Yeah, I guess the point of this is to point out secret passages and things if you're having trouble finding everything, but hey, that's what you got me for. And here's an example of how it works. It's like, oh hey, there's a secret passage right here. Did you know it? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I never really thought it was all that useful. Now the one in X3, that, that's, that one's pretty cool. But I don't really care for the one on this one. But that fills out the second armor. Alright. Yeah, I try to get in the habit of using air dash rather than dash jumping. It's, uh, I don't know, it's more precise. I kind of like it better. Uh-oh, this might be bad. I was a little bit behind. <laughs> but I didn't die, so, all right. Let's move along here. Yeah, well, come on, let's not noob it up. Ah, stupid bat. You're going to get in my way. Come on, come on, big smashy eye spot. There you go. Oh, and I missed a dude. I can swear I hit him. Anyway, we have made it to the boss. And Crystal Snail is weak to the Magnet Mine, which we got a long time ago. We could have fought him earlier, but yeah. Yeah, something I learned when I was playtesting this game, um, which I'll, I'll point out in a minute. Alright, let's smack him with a magnet mine. Now you notice it shoots him out of his shell, which he takes damage when he hits the wall. But what I never knew before is that you can dash and knock his shell around. So you can, like, keep him out of it and just keep smacking him with missiles while he tries to get into his shell. It's kind of funny, really. <laughs> and if he does manage to get back into it, just pop him with another mine. Die on the wall. Awesome. And it leaves his shell behind. Too bad we can't, like, climb in it and use it or something. <laughs> I 
and a reward for defeating Crystal Snail. We get the Crystal Hunter, which looks about useless, but it freezes enemies. It'll come in like necessary later. All right, cutscene. Mega Man X. I've located the X Hunter's base. It's at grid location zero zero. That's right at the North Pole. Roger, Doctor King. I'm on my way. It will take some time to reactivate Zero. Slow them down, Mega Man X. 